and this episode, Cafe Navarre. Good times. Welcome to Nolagen. Let the good times roll. We are in New Orleans visiting Cafe Navarre, which is located in the Mid-City neighborhood at 800 Navarre Avenue, which is a largely residential neighborhood that really gives Cafe Navarre an extra level of popularity with locals. Cafe Navarre is under six miles away and about 13 minutes from the French Quarter. In this episode of the Travel With Me vlog, we're on a travel search for best burger options in New Orleans. New Orleans has a lot of great food, and that also includes some of the best burgers I have ever eaten anywhere. So I don't really have to travel for best burger options that I already know about that are some of my favorites that we will explore one special type of New Orleans burger in this episode. So let's head on inside and check this place out. I might go so far as to say that New Orleans might have the best hamburger in the USA to my taste, and we are also going to sample a roast beef po' boy that is connected to making one of these great burgers. But first, we feast on what could be the USA best hamburger candidate for you to judge for yourself. I am constantly asking where is the best hamburger and who has the best hamburger, and often I find the best burgers are still found in New Orleans, so we will eat with me hamburger perfection. So let's get started with the hamburger eat with me on our travel vlog. So Riccobono's Cafe Navarre is the full name of this establishment and the Riccobono's are a local family that owns several restaurants in the area that all have slightly different characteristics but they're all great to visit and they're famous for always having a great brunch. And we here have the brunch menus you can kind of check out on your own. They don't have the burger listed that we're having today which is the Dirty Burger which is a New Orleans style hamburger with roast beef debris on it that is amazingly delicious. So it's a burger and then the roast beef debris on top. Look at this beautiful amount of meat on top of meat. Dirty burger. I'm gonna get so dirty. So even if it's not listed on the menu, you just have to order the dirty burger and they'll make it for you. <laughs> Burger topped with roast beef debris. It's gonna get kind of nasty here. And the only condiment that I have on here is Creole mustard because the Creole mustard fantastically accentuates the flavors of the meat. So if you've never tried it, you might want to get some Creole mustard on your burger and on your roast beef po' boys. It really helps accentuate some of those flavors. And speaking of po' boys, the roast beef debris on this burger is exactly what they also use to make the roast beef po' boys. So you're getting just a double dose of wonderful beefy deliciousness out of this. The roast beef debris is just so full of amazing beef flavor that's coupled with the slightly different delicious beefy flavor of the burger that's so juicy and flavorful on its own. So the combo of the two is mind blowing. Wonderful. The combination of the burger and roast beef and debris on top is double delicious beefy goodness. Oh. I mean, look at it. That's roast beef debris all over the edges. Mm, 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 mm. So, not every place in New Orleans offers this option. There are a few that offer this option. And sometimes you can request it, and some places will honor your request to do a burger like this, and some will not. You can also do it on po' boy bread as well if you want to get an even larger sandwich. The Nola Jump Project already has restaurant review videos filmed featuring other restaurants that do offer this delicious flavor combination of the roast beef debris and burger that will be out soon. <laughs> if you want to get notified of when new videos are released, you need to make sure you hit that subscribe button and then click the little bell that appears after you click the subscribe button to get notifications of all new videos. Otherwise, you have to just keep searching for Nola Gent and the search function to see all the videos that we release. And we do release a lot of videos, so if you don't have that little bell clicked on your subscribe option, you could certainly miss some of our new releases. 
I wish I could somehow let you smell and taste the amazing double beefy delicious goodness in this burger. The combination is amazing. It's so much beefy goodness. So what do you think of this combination so far? Do you think it would just be too much for some people? Just too much going on with the different flavors? Or do you think this would be something you'd like to try? Comment below and let us know what you think about it. Like losing the tomato, but the beef is losing at the end too. I don't know. It's going to be a, a balancing act. The structural integrity certainly is hard to hold together with one hand. This is definitely more of a uh, two-handed option uh, to really uh, keep everything together. But it is uh, still doing relatively well staying together so far. Doesn't take the tomato down now. Now I certainly have not been everywhere in the world and I maybe have missed other burgers similar to this, but as far as I know I've never seen any burger like this anywhere else but New Orleans. Comment below and let me know if you've seen anything similar to this. This burger is definitely going down way too easy. I have uh, already eaten so much of it so quickly because it's so delicious. Oh my gosh, what a delicious burger that was. And I've got a little extra piece of meat here uh, that dropped out for a little extra feasting. My last little piece of meat. Mm -hmm. So good. So instead of french fries or onion rings, I got a healthy side item relatively. I thought I'd make sure I got a little vegetable in me here. A little coleslaw, even though I spilled a lot of my roast beef gravy down inside of it. The roast beef gravy actually uh, adds kind of a good extra layer of flavor to the coleslaw. There's one other thing I think that also add a little more flavor to it as well right here. Ooh. A little Creole mustard. Kind of improve the uh, coleslaw real quick. Watch this. So for many of you out there, you probably are not familiar with Creole mustard. It's a spicy mustard that is enhanced with some horseradish, red pepper, and some other seasoning sometimes. So it's got a little bit of a kick to it and it's quite delicious. So if you're enjoying yourself so far, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and destroy that subscribe button and I really would appreciate it. And it really would help me with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much. So this coleslaw definitely has more of a great kick to it now. Way better with a Creole mustard. Just has a uh, really nice uh, flavorful explosion addition to me. It's not like a burning hot thing uh, when you eat some kind of a hot pepper kind of hot and spicy. It's just a nice pleasant extra little kick to it that is a uh, nice flavor enhancer so it's not the uh, super strong horseradish burn you might get with straight horseradish it's not like that chinese mustard or some of the really spicy mustard that i've had in europe before it's uh pretty even overall just because of that extra special little kick that blends well so uh you might like it if you try it so definitely if you're in the area of Louisiana or can find a way to order it online, I definitely recommend you order some Creole mustard and try it out on some different items because it is a very unique style of mustard I've never experienced anywhere outside of Louisiana before. Just like I've never seen the combination of the roast beef debris and burger before in other areas outside of New Orleans. Messy, mm -hmm. messy, but very good. If you want to try out the Creole mustard, I will put a link to it below in my Amazon affiliate links where I will get a small commission that costs you nothing extra. And it does help support the Nola Junk channel and I do appreciate that. So my meal total before tip was $16.81. And then a couple of months later, I made a return visit to Cafe Navarre to sample the roast beef po' boy. So, here you can see the delicious looking roast beef po' boy and this is the roast beef that's on top of the dirty burger as well. So let's try this out. They do make a really delicious po' boy here. They also offer a surf and turf where you get shrimp with roast beef debris piled on top of it which is also fantastic. So this is a great 
great place for po' boys and for the burgers. And all their other food is fantastic as well. So this is definitely a great spot to go and enjoy some fantastic food. The dinner menu even adds pizza to the mix, so you really get a diverse selection of things. So you always have to be questioning all about the things that first we feast with the burgers, the po' boys, and then the pizzas. With so many options, it's always hard to decide with which you want to begin and end with. And the delicious po' boy bread also gives a very unique Neat characteristic to New Orleans po' boys. Uh, really, once you get outside of New Orleans, it's really hard to replicate the very unique style of French bread that we have here. Um, we also have Vietnamese French bread that we have our Vietnamese band Me on as well that have gotten way more popular recently. And those are made on the band Me bread that's a little bit of a smaller loaf. And that French bread tastes way more like the French bread in France. I do love both styles of the French bread in New Orleans, and then we actually have traditional French bread as well. And if you love French bread, just go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and destroy that subscribe button and remember to hit that little bell too. So uh, I have to say though, the traditional New Orleans French bread definitely works pretty darn best out of all of the options for a real New Orleans po' boy experience. So if you are in the mood to get the full authentic experience, you definitely want to get it on our New Orleans style French bread, which is its own unique animal and it's just apparently really hard to replicate anywhere else. Even nearby on the Gulf Coast, it's hard to find places that have authentic New Orleans French bread. And even when places ship in real New Orleans French bread, it just uh, goes stale so fast that it just doesn't maintain that proper consistency of crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside. So really, New Orleans French bread is stale within a day. So you have to get it fresh daily, and that really makes it prohibitively costly to ship it in daily for most restaurants outside of the New Orleans area. So it is a uh, unique style and experience you do need to try whenever you visit the area. And definitely you want to try the Band Me as well. The Band Me Po' Boy style is getting really creative in New Orleans and diverging even from the uh, long traditional styles that have been for sale for quite a while in the area grocery stores, but more and more restaurants are now offering them. Over the last decade or so, we really have had a big explosion in new Vietnamese restaurants that have really been getting extremely creative and doing a lot of wonderful new food. So that's also another New Orleans food that's been added to our repertoire that we've really embraced and enjoyed. And speaking of enjoying, I'm really enjoying this roast beef po' boy. It's just so full of goodness and it's packed so full of roast beef debris. It's just, oh, so flavorful and delicious. And as you might have guessed, I have Creole mustard on it. So uh, you definitely might want to give Creole mustard a try in combination with the roast beef because it goes together so well just like it does on the burger. So anytime with beef or seafood, I like it. So I do have a little bit left to clean my plate up. It all together stayed together quite well considering uh, other po' boys I've eaten. So we just have a little bit to clean up after. Um, the structural integrity held up quite well. And we have a little bit to clean up. We don't have our full third meal we often see with other po' boys that we have uh, demonstrated to you on the Nola Jet channel. But it's uh, still quite a large amount of food. They definitely do not shirk on the amount of meat in this po' boy. It just stays together pretty darn good. So it's still quite a filling sandwich. It's maybe a little bit shorter than some others, but it's still very delicious. 
Um, you definitely need to try the burger though, so um, you want to do a combination maybe of the burger and the po' boy. You can maybe split it half and half with some people, so you get to try uh, a little half of each of one of these. A little sample of each is always great. And so as we polish off the last little bit of this and uh, do our evaluation of the price, we got it for $14.60 before tip. And as we look around one last time, we certainly had a fantastic experience here. And is it the best burger in the USA? Maybe so, but there's a lot of other great burgers in New Orleans to compare it to as well. It is definitely one of the best burgers in New Orleans. So if you're in the area, make sure you check out Cafe Navarre for more good food, good times, and good people, and the Dirty Burger. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.